So I logged in this morning to this beautiful herd of wild stock and it just so happens that we desperately need glue. So I figured we might as well put my moat to work and yeah, see how well this works. <laughs> so a little bit of cruel, I guess, but effective nonetheless. So yeah, they stay tagged for 30 seconds. So I think I got experience for at least two of those guys. I'll have to see how much experience you actually get for each one. But easy animal drops. Right. Oh, one more, two more, three more. <laughs> See if I can get that. Oh, no. Oh, we got them both anyway. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Come on. It is a little bit hard to see them underwater. There we go. <laughs> So my general idea for this episode is I want to get some iron tools and kind of prepare for maybe joining a community hunt. And so, but that means we need lots of bones, lots of fibrous leaves. And this is actually supposed to be my crafter, but I guess there's nothing to say. I, you know, I could take my crafter and get some easy levels on my crafter and then go ahead and just make him a full-time crafter. But I think it'd be really awesome to, to do an episode of doing a community hunt. Whether it's on this character or the new character. So, yeah. Which, uh, speaking of... Well, that's... I never noticed that before. Uh, which, speaking of new characters and beacon names, uh, still... I have some suggestions, but nobody else has voted on any of the other suggestions, so... I think I might just go ahead and pick one out because yeah, we need a name for not only a new character but the beacon as well. So did I loot the no I did not. <laughs> so anyway, let's do the opening proper. How's it going everyone? Javita here with another Let's Play Boundless episode. So yeah, if you missed the last episode, Cook Viper came up with this awesome uh, riddle that I kind of sprinkled throughout the episode and you had to kind of put it together and okay, I'm going to assume you're on the same page with me. Uh, anyway, we have a winner. Uh, congratulations, Carter Williams. He He's figured out the solution to the riddle and special shout out from Cook Viper to uh, James Johnson, uh, as well as myself. He came up, it wasn't the right answer, but it was one that really wasn't considered in you know, it was like, I'm clueless to all this stuff, basically. <laughs> but first time uh, Cook Viper showed me the, the first version, I was trying to interpret it as like directions in the game. So I'm pretty clueless about this stuff. Okay, well, I guess I should go over the riddle first. So the solution to the riddle was Venus. So Venus is the fifth Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. So... Um, I'll just go ahead and read the explanation that Cook Viper had. So Venus was the fifth Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. It was named after the famous armless statue. So the riddle was uh, one of five, though most think four. So most people, when they think of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they think of the base four turtles uh, named after art. So Venus was named after the armless statue and she wore light blue. So named after art, light blue I wore. So uh, there was somebody that threw out Leonardo. They were on the right track, but Leonardo wore like primary blue or plain blue, whereas uh, Venus wore a light blue. Uh, I'm not from space, but sad to say. So apparently the creator wanted to make them from space at some point. And fans petitioned him not to. Uh, so I almost was no thanks to Bay. So... Um, Okay, so yeah, Venus was the fifth Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, named after the famous artless statue. 
uh, the Turtles creator Michael Bay had plans to change their origin story so that they were all aliens from space, but changed his mind after fans had a meltdown and literally petitioned him not to. So James Johnson came up with Kirby, and Kirby was going to, I guess, be a male a uh, fifth Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, but the creator basically refused unless the fifth turtle was going to be a female. So that's where Venus came in. And Cook Viper goes on to explain that, yeah, Venus wore light blue, whereas Leonardo wore plain blue, and that the hint in his Cook's Corner is there's a Raphael sprite head kind of pixel art somewhere in his base. I'll probably throw up a picture of that. So that was the hint that was at Cook's Corner. And yeah, so impressive stuff, guys. Congratulations again, Carter Williams, and special shout out to James Johnson. Uh, both Cook Viper and I kind of independently came to the conclusion that uh, James, you should, you deserve a reward as well. But I did a small amount of work on the house, finished up some of the chiseling, kind of moved in, I <laughs> made a crap ton of crafting tables. I just went ahead and made a a mass order. Kind of got some inventory set up or was organized. I think I leveled up when I picked up my furnace. I literally got a um, elemental category. I don't know a, a, an achievement for picking up lots of different things, basically, and kind of leveled me up or something like that. Maybe I was already leveled up, but if I can concentrate. Here we go. Explore exploration. So we need more inventory space and we're four skill points short. So yeah, I just leveled up. All right. Wow. Level 18 already. That's crazy. But yeah, I worked on the house a little bit. The deck is semi underpinned, so still working on that, but I'll do that on my own time. And eventually I'll put in kind of like a support posts for the deck, but might as well Okay, so, uh, sorry about that, I had to disable <laughs> some Discord stuff. Ah, Surfer Blade! So yeah, I talked to him in pretty long length the other day. Hey, hey. Does he speak? Does he speak? Ah, hello, Javita! Okay, so, I think I'll talk to him maybe off camera and... Oh, okay, that's James Johnson. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get him his game key and uh, be right back. Okay, so got him his key. So all the prizes have been distributed. That's awesome. I was kind of a little bit worried about <laughs> getting all of that distributed. So, um, but yeah, okay. Awesome. We have some extra inventory. So I am guess I'll go ahead and try to clean out as much as this junk as possible and then I guess we'll go hunting for fibrous leaves and bones so uh, until then okay we are back I got my inventory all prettied up and who we even have grapples and fancy torches and so yeah I think we are ready to go maybe consolidate a little bit better but uh, yeah so I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this because it might uh, take a while to find all the stuff that we need. So I guess I'll just record it and see what happens. If it takes too long, I'll chop it down. Um, but yeah. Oh. And uh, something before we go. I wanted to show off. Uh, I crafted another beacon and placed one inside of the house. So I wanted to go ahead and get rid of this one. So all you have to do, can't remember if I've already done it, but when you make a new beacon inside of your beacon, you can interact and set, yeah, set as master beacon control. And that, oh, nice. <laughs> so apparently you can complete a, an objective for doing that, but that makes it to where this one over here is removable. So now we can get rid of it. Takes forever. There we go. And yeah, nothing nothing bad happens. And we can go ahead and throw this other one in the storage. Ah, there we go. That'll work for now. <laughs> okay. Oh, perfect. Look at that. That's exactly what we need. 
other than fibrous leaves. <laughs> Come on. You know you want to go for a swim. And this is where grapple comes in handy. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, ran out of stamina. <laughs> Aw, we missed one. Very nice. Look at that experience roll in. Ha ha ha. Doesn't get much easier than that. So yeah, this is pretty, pretty awesome. I mean, other than it doesn't look the best, because, you know, the house takes up the entire lake. Um... <laughs> nice. Woo, key worked. Well, yeah, I wouldn't give you a bad key. At least, you know. Um, let's see. Come on. Make up. There we go. So yeah, woo, key worked first time. Oh, key worked first time I ever won anything inside of a video game. Laugh out loud. Thank you. Aw. No problem. <laughs> Congrats. Can't type. Especially congrats again. And enjoy. Hey, awesome. So uh let's see here. So yeah, animals have still got one more over there. It's I don't know, we could drag them into the water, but it seems hardly worth it, so. Yeah, he's like already, already dead. Ooh, that is. So we only have two sling bows. Eek. Well, <laughs> that's a. So I think I'm going to go ahead and craft some more sling bows and then we'll get started for real. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going off in this direction for absolutely no particular reason. Um, you know, one of the reasons why I picked Berlin was because it is the the starter planet I know the least. So I figured this would be a good way to learn it was to force myself to play on it. So uh, let's see here. Yeah. So I could just jump up here. Let's see how this works. So not nearly as convenient as the water, but still pretty, pretty darn safe. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, guys. Join the party. Oh, I can't quite. There we go. There's one at least. Can I get him? How about you guys? kind of the nice thing. You just have to kind of hit the ground somewhere around them. I mean, I guess that can be a little bit annoying when you don't want it to happen, but for this purpose, works amazing. <laughs> like shooting wild stock in a barrel. Except there's no barrel. It's not exactly a glamorous way to get animal drops, but safe and effective. And it gets you pretty decent experience at the same time, so. Yep, there goes the first sling bow. Of course, it was pretty much already completely dead. It's kind of interesting, I guess because they're on that slope, they're all like, <laughs> I'm dying and throwing myself uphill. <laughs> like, what? Oh, there we go. There's one that went the other direction. Uh, that's amusing. Yeah, man. So yeah, if you missed, um, I did a video showing basically how long loot and uh, experience and all that sort of stuff works. So um, long story short, bodies will stay on the ground for three minutes. Uh, dropped items will stay around for five minutes and you still get experience for uh, animals dying uh, as long as you've touched them in the last 30 seconds. Uh, doesn't work for grapples, but uh, anything else like sling bows, you got 30 seconds after you hit them uh, before you lose 
the experience from them if they die. So, ooh, you almost got me there. And that includes even things like elemental resisted or you know, like you do zero damage because they resisted your attack. So pretty awesome there. So I think you got the idea when it comes to wild stock. I'll go ahead and cut the rest out until I find some fibrous plants. So till then. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, finally found my first yucca plant. I literally decided I was on the wrong side of the desert, which I'm sure is just complete superstition, but maybe I'm just following in somebody else's foot tracks of where they were farming this stuff. But yeah, I was on the south side of the desert, so I walked my happy butt all the way to the north side of the desert, uh, which is which that is the side I normally farm on Solum for this type of stuff. So I don't know if that really makes a difference, but yeah, I usually don't have a hard time finding yucca plants, but you know, who knows? Maybe Berlin's a little bit different. Ah, okay. So yeah, there might be something to this north side of the desert because yeah, I've been walking around for probably 20 minutes. Granted, I have been stopping to take out wild stock. I'm up to 19 bones, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but you can see I have way more tallow and yeah, that's about it. Wow, no raw meat? How have I not been getting raw meat? That's crazy. But anyway, so yeah, this is turning out to be a little bit more time consuming than I thought it was going to be, but we'll eventually get it done. Ah, oh, sweet, there we go. See? You know, I'm sure it's superstition, but you know, it's hard to argue with the results. Hear that, or maybe now that I'm recording, it's just stupid camera luck. You know, it's, you know, I, I refer to camera luck because normally when it comes to RNG and stuff like that, I, I'm just terrible, but when the camera's rolling, then for some reason I magically find the rubies and you know stuff like that. So, um, but looks like maybe I've run into another dry patch. So, uh, don't want to bore you all too much with aimless rambling and searching. So let's. It's like surely there's gonna be another one just over the hill. Okay, so. I'll find some more and yeah, maybe cut back to the base or who knows. Now see, I knew I shouldn't have stopped the recording because like 10 more steps and wow, here is two sitting right next to each other. Awesome, so three fibrous leaves just for that. So I guess, I mean, depending on how lucky you get with these things, it could be easier just to chop, you know, leaves because you do have a chance to get them from that. Uh, theoretically luck should affect it but it's kind of I guess pick your own poison would you rather run around and explore or just sit there and mindlessly well, whack leaves I mean you know, leaves are useful for making tools I think let's see here I think it's just stone tools that you need the leaves for uh, the iron tools I mean that's the whole reason why we need the sackcloth is to so yeah but ooh Icy stuff. No, we don't want icy stuff. So, but yeah. So, let's see. You can find them in the swamp. Maybe I'll go towards the swamp instead of, because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to find a single yucca plant up in the, the icy areas. I wonder if spitters, maybe they favor dropping raw meat more? Because I'm really killed a lot of wild stock and did not have gotten one piece of raw meat. That's a little alarming to me. <laughs> Come on, stay still. Okay, so there's two right there. Okay, that's... <laughs> Wow, 96. I forget that meat now stacks with the other food items, which is amazing, by the way. Uh, but yeah, throws me for a loop when stuff like that happens. So anyway, um, yeah, let's look for some more fibrous leaves and no need to bore you all with that. Okay, so I'm on my way home and let's see here. Yeah, I have about 
well, exactly 149 of these things. Uh, I've also started to hit these, uh, I guess the lotus flowers, just because those give inky leaves and I'll eventually need them, I think, for decorative blocks. Um, and they smart stack together. So uh, also crossing the desert, I started picking up the mushrooms just to be a little bit more productive. But uh, yeah, I eventually just kind of stopped farming the wild stock and focused only on fibrous leaves because it was taking quite a while. Um, but I do have enough for a mass craft and I seem to be having the most luck in kind of these types of areas. They kind of come and go in waves and and yeah, they kind of favor sometimes they'll be a basis of trees or these bushes and after a period of time you kind of you know get a sense of where they are and kind of get that gathers uh, intuition sort of thing and yeah so it takes a while to get them at least using this method i i'm certainly starting to question it's like if you can find them reliably it's hands down better than just chopping leaves but if you're having a hard time finding them Unfortunately, chopping leaves, I mean, it's a more uh, reliable. <laughs> so trying to find the fibrous plants, I guess, is a bit like uh, playing the lottery, whereas uh, the, the leaves are a safer option, but uh, certainly kind of boring. But, you know, you look at it, you know, if you have the inventory space, it's awesome for gathering all sorts of different resources as well as discovering new zones I've, you know, I haven't been going after them, but I've certainly stumbled into quite a few. But I think I'm going to finish heading home. I did go to, what is this? This is the south side of the desert. I, so I circled the planet on the north side of the desert and then came over to the south side to do the same thing. And, uh, oh, nice. <laughs> so, uh, ooh, there we go. But yeah, I'll see you back at the house till then. Okay, we are back and <laughs> I did a few things. Uh, actually, first off, I uh, went ahead and mass crafted some sackcloth. So we got that. And while I was waiting for it to mass craft, it was like 20 or so minutes. So I went ahead and kind of filled in at least the ceiling. The, the roof, of course, isn't done. But uh, now we should be able to come over here and finally craft our iron heavy hammer. So let's go ahead and do a mass craft because, hey, we have the stuff. It's going to save us stuff in the long run. And so let's get at least one of those. And we really don't need uh, better shovels or axes necessarily. So I guess some iron sling bows would be nice for... Um, whenever we go hunting. And that's really all we have as far as mass crafting. Uh, grapples might not be a horrible idea, but we do have copper grapples that, you know, the range kind of sucks, but they at least have okay speed. But uh, yeah, well, okay. I mean, we got all this stuff crafting and yeah, I guess this will be kind of the, the end of the episode. Go ahead and get these wild stock since uh, the bones seem to be limiting quite, seem to be limiting me quite a bit. So, but as soon as we go on one of the, the community hunts, then <laughs> yeah, I don't anticipate really any problems with any kind of animal product. Uh, so. Also, somewhere in this episode, there is a Steam game key hidden, so if you're interested in that, be sure to keep an eye out. But anyway, this was Javita. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. And if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down below. Also, if you like my channel and want to get cool perks, uh, check out my Patreon page as well. Links in the description. Until next time, peace.